I call this series of videos a quick and dirty guide to making chords because I want us to get up and running with the practical skill of making chords as quickly as we possibly can and, and not to have to worry quite yet about the theory behind it. We'll investigate the theory in a little bit more detail in an upcoming set of videos, but for today, let's just make as many chords as we can as quickly as we can. In order to make chords, we want to investigate one thing first, and that is the interval of the third. Now remember, the interval of a third simply means the distance between three notes. So for instance, if I start on C and I go three notes up from C, C, D, E, that is the interval of a third. If I start on F and I go up three notes from F, F, G, A, that is the interval of a third. If I start on D and I go up the interval of a third, then I go D, E, F. Go one, two, three, D, E, F. That's the interval of a third. You may have noticed, though, that not all thirds are created equally. Let's start by looking at the first third I, I mentioned up there, which is C to E. So we're going to start on middle C and go to the E directly above it. So we have the interval of a third. Let's look at that on the piano, though, because I want to investigate how many half steps we have between the C and the E. So down here we have the C followed by the E on the piano keyboard. All right, so C to C sharp, that's one half step. C sharp to D, that's two half steps. D to D sharp, that's three half steps. And D sharp to E, that's four half steps. So I'm just gonna write that below our interval of a third here. C to E has four half steps. Let's try the same thing uh, with the interval of F to A. So I'm going to write an F right up here, the F just above middle C, and the A a third above it. So we have F and we have A. And let's find those on the piano keyboard. Here's F. Here's A. And let's count the half steps from F to A. So from F to F sharp, we have one half step. From F sharp to G, we have two. From G to G sharp, we have three. And from G sharp to A, we have four. So we have four half steps going from F to A. Let's investigate one more interval though, the third interval that I put up there, which is D to F. Um, and I'll write that just beside here. So I'm going to start with the D that's right above middle C and go to the F that's right above it. So D to F. Here's the D on our keyboard right here. Here's the F on our keyboard. Let's count the half steps. So D to D sharp is one half step. D sharp to E is two half steps. E to F is three half steps, and we're there. We're at our destination. So that is only, that third is only three half steps. And there are indeed two different types of thirds that I want to talk about right now. One of them is the kind of third that has four half steps, and the other kind is the third that has three half steps. We have a name for each of these kinds of thirds, and these two kinds of thirds are going to be really important building blocks for a lot of the chords that we're going to be building. So, a third that has four half steps, like C to E, we call that a major third. And that's four half steps. The other kind of third is a 
third with three half steps, and we call that a minor third. And that's a, that's a third with three half steps. So I'll put a rule number three here. Um, so we can investigate a couple of these other notes on the piano keyboard. Let's investigate the third that is from E to G right here. E to G. So E is one half step. Uh, I'm sorry, E to F is one half step. F to F sharp is two half steps and F sharp to G is three half steps. So E to G is a third with three half steps. That means that E to G is a minor third. A third with three half steps. Uh, let's take a look at one more. Let's look at G to B. I'll put these on our keyboard. Here's the G on the keyboard. Here's the B on the keyboard. Let's count the half steps. G to G sharp is one. G sharp to A is two. A to A sharp is three. And A sharp to B is four. So we have four half steps. That means that G to B is a major third. In the next video, we will take a look at some more major and minor thirds and then talk a little bit about how we actually build them from scratch.